My name is Esther Nyani, and I'm a faculty member and the director of the School of Disability Studies. And it is my pleasure to be with you here this afternoon and to welcome you to the Dispatches from Disabled Country book launch. To officially open this afternoon's event, we would like to call on Dr. Kira Garabazi, the Dean of the Faculty of Community Services. Welcome, Kira. I'm really uh, deeply honored, actually, to be asked to say some welcoming remarks at this particular meeting. And, and the reason for that is a little bit odd. I've never actually met Catherine. And, uh, um, and yet, I feel like I've known her for a long time because every time I speak with people in the School of Disability Studies, the conversation immediately turns to her and her contributions to the school, to the movement in general, and just her as, as a human being and as somebody uh, to be valued and, and to inspire as others. I welcome you, I'm pleased you're here, and I think this is going to be a wonderful event. So, Thank you for, uh, for coming and, uh, and enjoy this. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So thank you. We're also really thrilled to be joined by some discussants who are in person and online, who will be slowly reading some selections from her work, as well as offering their own reflections. So Catherine is joining us virtually from her home in Nova Scotia. Also online are some of the uh, editors and contributors. So I would like to also thank Michael Orsini, Chrissy Kelly, uh, Harvey Chuchnov, and of course there's Eliza who also contributed. So we'd like to invite up Dr. Melanie Panich, Executive Director of the Office of Social Innovation, and as many of us know, the Founding Director of the School of Disability Studies. Thank you, Eliza. Wow, it feels like old home week. I can't say how absolutely thrilled I am uh, to have been invited here today and to take part in the launch of this amazing book. I'm so proud to see the School of Disability Studies host and organize this event and that we have Catherine Frizee herself at the place where so much began. I have to say my heart soared when I read Catherine describe her years here as the most exhilarating decade of my life. And she cultivated the aesthetic of disability culture in that framing. And I was deeply moved in reading Catherine's book to encounter her exquisite honoring of so many people, sadly, no longer with us, but who were there and who came to define that third space, which spread its arms so wide during that exhilarating decade. But listening to me is not what you came for. And so let me close by promising that there is great wisdom to be gained from reading this book. And now I'm delighted to welcome Catherine back home. Hello, everyone, and greetings from Mi'kmaq, the abundant lands of the Mi'kmaq people. Let the record show that I am beyond delighted today to offer the world a book in which the disabled protagonist does not choose heroically in the end to die. Oh dear, should I have offered a spoiler alert? Well, let the record also show that my name is only one of three on the cover of Dispatches. Truth be told, I was dragged kicking and screaming, or the equip equivalent of kicking and screaming, which is more like apologetic ghosting. But I was dragged into this project by Michael Orsini and 
Christine Kelly. Christine and Michael were as relentless as they are generous. They seduced me with an irresistible title and promises that proved to be truthful that they would do all of the heavy lifting, which indeed they have done. Dispatchers from disabled country exist in the world because of them. I'll dedicate it, if I may, to my fellow contributors, Melanie Panich, Catherine Church, Eliza Chandler, Harvey Chachanoff, and Laverne Jacobs. Also to my good friends who you will hear from today, Gabrielle Peters and Aaron Clark, and my new friends, Marie Francis and Ty Hunt. Also to our very fine comrades at TMU and UBC Press, to our accessibility team, and to Margot Chalborn, who envisioned this launch and has made it happen without a hitch. The members of this village are many, for the book itself is compiled as a gesture of homage to the disabled scholars, artists, and activists who have enriched the soil in which my worldview took root. Thank you all for coming today to share with us um, and celebrate Catherine's book. Thank you for your questions, and we hope the conversations will continue. There are many who have helped to bring this this event together. And a final thanks, of course, um, to Catherine, um, whose work brought us here today. Throughout your career as dispatches from disabled country and capulates, you have given rise to new conceptual frameworks to reimagine the law, arts, culture, and humanity. Thank you.